Hey guys, it's Bray, and I'm about to go on a little bit, a little bit of a rant about something that has been on my mind for a while, and why am I fixing it? Everybody knows I wear a bra. I'm a, I'm a girl. And also, my hair might still be a little wet because... I got out of the shower a few minutes ago. I work out. So I take a shower after that. I work out. I try to work out every morning at least. But that's that's not the rant that I'm about to go on because I'm going to throw down the salt and you might really hear the jersey in me because when I get angry the jersey comes out a little bit. Little bit. So. Okay. Okay. So. I don't know what I'm going to title this video yet. But. Let me tell you. It involves this versus this. I. I. Okay. Okay. Oh, why? What is the difference? I really don't understand. I like owning physical books, obviously. But this, this, this takes up so much less space. And it's lighter and easier for me to hold. Like, all right. Okay, this isn't very heavy. Something like this, or ah, this, but this, this, is he this isn't heavy at all. And you know what? You know what's really heavy? Freaking Harry Potter books, which I love, and I own all of them, and I would like to own the 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 illustrated editions but those are just too big for me to read like hold like guys i don't know if if you guys can tell but me holding this is a lot more easy for me than holding this. And I know most of you aren't disabled, so you don't really understand that struggle. And that's okay, because I'm not saying that everybody has to be disabled or anything. And this isn't an ableist rant, either. It's, it's just something that nobody freaking talks about. And it makes me so, oh, like, um, who, who reads a lot of ebooks? Philippe. Philippe from the YA Reader. He only reads ebooks. And I don't know if anybody gives him flack for it or slack or flack. Flack is the word. Yeah, I don't know if anybody gives him crap for it, but I'm tired of seeing these booktubers shit on ebooks because. because. it just makes me mad because people don't think about what ebooks have done for people. And I know it's a stupid thing to get angry about, but this has been festering within me for a while. And now the freaking phone is ringing while I'm filming a video. <sighs> okay. Freaking phone. Richard, you'd be so proud. You'd be so proud of me right now for... <sighs> I want to keep it real with you guys. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I love my Kindle. Love it. It makes it so easy for me. That one-click button on Amazon 
Yeah, I love it. And apps like Overdrive. Overdrive is wonderful. And people are always like, oh, you shouldn't support Kindles because they're destroying bookstores and the publishing industry and everything. Guys, most of these booktubers, and you know who you are, I'm not going to call you out, and I'm subscribed to most of you too, and I love you guys, so I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm not hating on you or anything, but most of you have affiliate links to Audible or Book Depository. You know who owns those companies? Amazon. Amazon.com owns those companies. And I'm sorry if you're angry that bookstores are disappearing. And that saddens me too. It does. It makes me sad. When borders went down, I was really sad because... Man, I loved Borders. Like, I loved Borders. It was so good. It was so good. But they just couldn't handle the competition. And I'm sorry if you don't want to accept that Amazon is presenting the tough competition. But if you're an affiliate and you're telling me that I'm wrong, for supporting ebooks or the Kindle. It's kind of hypocritical. A little bit. And you know what else I love about the Kindle? This this new pro. Because you know what this does for me? I don't even have to worry about freaking holding the book because I can just I can just you guys can probably hear the cord. But I can do this. This. And do you know what? I can prop it on my desk. And I don't know if you guys can see this. I can prop it on my desk. Let me adjust you. here on my desk and I don't even have to hold it unless of course it doesn't want to do it while I'm trying to film this video maybe okay yeah I don't even have to like hold it okay just the camera I don't even have to hold it that's wonderful for me. What's wrong with the Kindle? And I know even if you don't own a Kindle, I'm willing to bet that you have the freaking Kindle app on your phone. You don't even have to buy a Kindle. You could just download the freaking app for it and I know Barnes and Noble has the nook but if you're that concerned about Barnes and Noble going out of business go buy a freaking nook don't tell me that freaking ebooks are superior somehow to books or well no I square you go go cut it I I'm forgetting English. Um, which is also something that happens when I get angry. But no. Okay. Um. Uh, no. Uh, guys, there's, there's no freaking difference between this and this. 
I'm sorry. There's no difference. And Book Depository is an Amazon affiliate. And you can buy physical books from there. From the UK. And they offer free shipping. Like, what is the difference? Honestly. If you're going to promote things like Audible and Book Depository, then freaking don't tell me that I'm killing bookstores and I'm killing the publishing industry. Because you are also contributing to that. I hate when people are freaking hypocrites. I really do. And I'm sorry that I'm getting so angry, but like I said, this has been building and festering and it needs to come out. And I know I'm not a popular booktuber or whatever. I have a total of 15 subscribers and that doesn't even bother me because I'm shocked that I even have 15 subscribers people take their time out of their day to watch Either my entire video or a portion of the video and I don't even care if you're not watching my whole video the time that y you took to leave a comment or a like makes my freaking day it really does. And at a time where I really need my day made, wait, you guys mean a lot to me. And I know I don't know most of you in real life, but I sometimes I feel like I do. And it's really great. And my TBR for the month of September, you know what that's all going to be? It's all gonna be ebooks. Because that's what I can, one, that's what I can afford because hardbacks are freaking expensive. Two, I can go on Overdrive and get the books for free. I can read them and return them when I'm done, and then somebody else can enjoy them. I don't have a lot of space in my bedroom. My bookshelf, guys, my bookshelf is probably about this big in my room. And I do a bookshelf tour, but I don't I don't have a camera that I can lift to show you guys. I'll take a picture of it if you want, but most of my bookshelf consists of the Song of Ice and Fire series. And those are big books. And I love them. And I'm going to talk about them. And if you want to do a read-along with me for the Song of Ice and Fire series, let me know in the comments. Because I would, I think that's really fun. Okay, this video is getting really, really long. And I'm running out of things to say. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Okay. Jenna. Bye-bye. I love you guys. <sighs> I love you. Bye.